It doesn't take much design experience to spot obvious mistakes like pixelated images or difficult to read type. It's easy to see how we could improve a website like this. But what about when it's already following basic design rules? How do you take a website from good to great? Well, I'm going to break down this real life site, talk about what it's doing well, and then redesign the hero section to show you how we can take it to the next level. This is the website in question, SEO work. Let's have a look at what it's doing well. So along the top navigation, it's following conventions, which helps the user get around. We have the brand name in the top left, although the logo is very, very generic looking. Then we have the navigation items along the top, to take you around the website and the kind of account and options things over on the right. Then nextly, we come to this hero section and there's a good hierarchy here where we have a large headline, byline underneath it and there's appropriate scale for that being smaller than the biggest headline and then some call to action buttons following that and it's starting by telling us something about the value telling us what the company is all about and what it can do for you so that's the right kind of things to include there the call to action is well done in the sense we have this button get started so it's it's a clear move and that is the most prominent button we do give the users options which you know people like that optionality but not too many options that's going to paralyze them so here there's just two below this hero copy and the minor one the one we don't want people to go towards is grayed out and we give people that primary option so this is the best practice way of doing it and that call to action as well is repeated up in that top right get started and request a demo take you to the same place next we have some social proof some of the clients they've worked with and this really helps for building trust particularly here as they've got some actual recognizable well-known brand names uh, amongst their clients then we move on to results this is really good uh, marketing order what will this do for me so they're backing it up with some evidence about uh, what actually happens for their clients. And this section here is easy to scan. Three is a good number. Two doesn't feel like enough. Five plus, it starts to get difficult to sort of scan through. So having these three in three columns uh, with very short copy, sales growth, search traffic, less time spent on analytics, that helps it being easy to scan. So what can we do to take this upper level? I mean, it's already got things like good typesetting, the line lengths aren't too long, we've got appropriate contrast of dark type on a white background, there's enough white space around everything, they're showing appropriate restraint, not using too many colors, only using one typeface. So what can we do? These obvious mistakes aren't there, but what I think we have really is a website that uh, lacks a lot of visual appeal. Uh, it, it It's just kind of boring, isn't it? It's just this white background, Roboto, which is just such a ubiquitous font. And really, we want to give it more life. So let's have a look section by section. First of all, we've had this top navigation. So what I've done here is broken this down by using the full viewport width into more of three sections because that wasn't quite obvious, particularly when you see the full site here the tap navigation, they need to be grouped a little bit more. So now we have the company name, which also takes you to the home on the left. In the center, the links to the different areas. And I've changed customer stories to results. So each uh, link is only one word, and that's more what it gives you on that page. And then the account options, I've kind of moved over to the side. I've shortened English just down to two letters because the other languages on the drop down all had two letter abbreviations. So why not make this one the same? And I don't think that needs to be super prominent. You can always automatically select the option, you know, in the browser with a little bit of code, but also giving people that chance to switch it is good. But sign in wants to be more prominent. That's more important. People aren't going to be changing the languages all the time. A cookie is going to do that. So this just tidies up that area and overall with this site i don't want to completely change their branding and reinvent the wheel and going to some sort of completely different mad style because we would need to go through a process with them to get to that so i'm trying to take cues from what they're already doing i've kept that font in place but then what about for this hero section what can we do with this well we need to bring some sort of imagery and i think this copy is not very difficult to scam 
I mean, it's quite a good offer, grow search traffic and increase conversions by growing website efficiency. But then when we read this next line, it kind of feels like bullet points. Be data informed, track competitors, get powerful websites about your website and SEO, explore potential traffic and sales growth, estimate ROMI. It kind of just stops all of a sudden um, and it just feels like bullet points. It's not really like pros. So I think we can do something with that. So I wanted to make more of a dramatic change here. So I've brought in some imagery to add visual interest. And this is just from a stock website and I'll link to all the assets I've used in the description of this video to credit. And by using this headline, peak website performance, it's clear that peak performance, that repetition, that alliter alliteration, uh, it just really sticks so much quicker in that nanosecond within the mind of the reader and by using a headline which is visually suggestive we're able to have an appropriate image here and it just adds a lot more humanness to it it just makes it that little bit friendlier and we're able to introduce you know more color to this scheme and that just gives a better impression overall and the same with this byline i wanted this to be more of a, a nice readable sentence more like prose so now i've combined their headline and their byline into this one sentence in plain english boost search traffic and conversions with powerful data insights to help you increase your website's efficiency and all that detail about estimating return on marketing investment and seo and all this kind of thing they can get into that through their website but this needs to be clear it needs to be in plain english so and similarly with the buttons we've kept get started but instead of watch the video i mean we already see a play icon so we know we're going to watch a video that's not really adding anything there so we've changed that to how it works and that's going to encourage people more into uh, that area i've also changed the headline font this time we're going for a modern serif which pairs uh, well as a contrast with Roboto that we've kept uh, for the body copy. But again, it's just something that adds a little bit of interest and life to this design. Next we have the logos and again, this was a good idea, but all that I've done is try to fix some of the little issues. So there's a few alignment issues going on. So I've tried to sort of align the, the visual weight of the center of these logos, also made them more even as one uh, solid color. Some of them are a bit two-tone, if you look at that Leroy Merlin with the triangle at the top. And the visual size, like Tom Taylor on the far right was very small and had a lot less visual presence than Ozon, for example. Now I've just done this roughly in Photoshop, I didn't have all the vector logos, but it's just to illustrate to you that this is an important thing to do, to just ma marry these things up so they carry the same visual weight. Next we come to this section about the results, the growth, what it does. And I like the three column thing, but these colors seem just almost picked at random. In the top area, we just had the blue that was used for the logo on the buttons and kind of white and this very dark gray. And then all of a sudden we have green, orange, purple. I'm not sure where these come from, and I think we can do more with that. And then we've got less time spent on analytics on two lines, whereas the other thing's on one line. So that's then push the icon up and these are out of alignment. Things like check, check R is, it's not great copy. We, we don't need that. So um, let's see if we can make that a bit more instant. So I've kept the three column thing, but I've moved the time, the, the percentage that's going down, so 30% less, I've moved that into the center so that we have a better sequencing of plus minus plus. I've changed all the values to percentages because at the top we had two as percentages and one as a multiple. And I've made that number a lot bigger so it really stands out. I've brought in again more of the illustrations from the same suite, the same sort of look, just changing the colors of these stock illustrations. And this could start to get a little bit too much on the website. So I probably wouldn't overuse it after this point. But here, it definitely adds more interest and it just puts that friendlier face on the whole thing. Whilst reinforcing the points, what are we talking about uh, visually? We're talking about searching, we're talking about time spent, we're talking about growth. And then underneath, we can have the clear explanation of that. Our clients average growth after six months but the whole thing of like clients and with us, well, they are clients, so we know they're with us. Check is 
they're just not necessary we've got all these extra words that we can just trim down uh, and that's what I've tried to do in this section so overall this is the before and this is the after and I'm going to show you a little visualization of this in a minute so it's a bit more realistic on a website but you can see here that we've still kept the, the fundamentals of the feel of the website, the space that they're in. It's a technical thing. Uh, it's appealing to uh, marketers, but it's something that has that more visual appeal, a friendlier face on it. It's easier to scan. It's easier to read. And we've just refined the aesthetic of some of the things by bringing in this premium font, tidying up the typesetting and all these little uh, tweaks just take it to the next level there's obviously many many ways we could have took this and if i was working with this company i'd want to really uh, dive into their offer and how they want to present themselves and explore different options and if we look at this in figma for a quick prototype of how it would look on a, a laptop we can see above the fold this hero section is very very clear and it's just suggesting we have that that social proof underneath encouraging us to scroll down and then I think what would be cool is if we get into this and another thing which would take the website up a level is to have some sort of interactions other than button rollovers there was nothing in the live site so I think here like having these cards appear one at a time from left to right having these percentage numbers uh, kind of scroll up or down one two three four five you know very quickly maybe as we have a rollover state the illustrations could just move and animate a little bit and we could have, you know, maybe changing the, the background color slightly and just, just having those little rollover states, those little interactions, those animations would just uh, really make it a lot more pleasing experience for the user. If you want to keep leveling up your design skills, then check out our programs. And until next time, happy designing.